Hey guys, it's Fonsky here, and today we're back in Euro Truck Simulator 2, and I'm going to do what I said I would do in the last video, which is show you the Russian map mod, or Rus Map 1.3. So, let's take a look at the map. This is what's added by Rus Mod, basically this big kind of square here. So if we go over here, this is our normal map, we've got Pro Mod up here, and then we've got Russia over here. So I haven't shown you driving all the way into Russia, because this is, I think, just from Brest here up to Orsha is about a thousand kilometers at least. It's like, there's a lot of road to travel on this map. You can see I haven't explored anywhere near all of it. But, so I'm just going to do a do a bit of a job and we'll drive from here, Volokolomosk, I don't know, <laughs> up to here. And it's a pretty cool job and I'm driving a Russian truck because I'm in Russia, so... I think this is probably the first Russian truck that I've actually driven in this game. Uh, there are a few, there are a few Russian truck mods, but a lot of them are kind of really buggy, uh, to put it bluntly. This one seems to be good so far, but I've only driven it for like five minutes. You can kind of see it in the background there. We'll take a better look in a moment. So yeah, we'll take our take our job up through here. We'll drive. We'll get to see a couple of the cities. Um, I'll actually drive through this city instead of going down this way. This is probably a quarry. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah, so this it's a really cool map mod, so I think you should take a look at it. Like I've said, it works with Pro Mod. I think it works with TSM. I can't say for sure, because I don't use TSM. Definitely works with Pro Mod, though. So, let's take a look at the, at the truck. So this is the interior. The truck is a Zill MMZ5423, which is just a real catchy name. These things are kind of... Oh, whoop, track I are. These things are kind of optional, you got the stereo, some tools, and it looks like an old cassette tape. Take a look at the outside, and we'll also see the job that I'm carrying. Look at that bad boy. There'll be links to all this stuff in the description. That's a massive cat... thing. This is the truck. It's, um... I've put the biggest engine available in it. It's, uh, still not very fast, so this may take a bit longer than it probably should. But we'll just have to wait and see how that goes, I guess. But yeah, it's a, it's a pretty cool looking truck. It's actually, it looks really small. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just me, because uh, I've been like spoiled by the big American trucks lately, or something, but <laughs> it looks like it's a really small truck. There's not much customization available. I showed you some of the interior stuff. There's a bit more than just that. It's also got the curtains and stuff that people really seem to like for some reason. But yeah, there's only one paint job, uh, not a whole lot of customization, so I didn't bother showing all that. But yeah, let's let's get on the road. And listen to the engine as well. It's definitely not a stock engine, so that's cool. So it looks like my first job here is actually driving across the road, because I want to go to the left. I've got no idea if I'm going to actually be able to do that easily or not. Looking at the traffic, probably not. I might just have to cheat a little, put my hazards on, and uh, just drive out into the middle of the road. I think they generally stop for you if you've got your hazard lights on. Let's just keep pushing out. <laughs> it didn't work as well as I'd hoped it would. It doesn't matter, we're moving. God, it's taking so long to rev out. It only has a 12-speed gearbox in it. But I think the engine was only like... 360 kilowatts or something. Let's put the beacons on. I'll try to move over into... oh shit, there's a car there. I can't actually see where the cars are coming up on me because of how wide the trailer is. Alright, so we've got 280 kilometers to go. Uh, this truck, it's not moving fast. I mean, I thought it was slow when I did that uh, 75 ton train. This, this load is 75 tons as well, and this truck is slower. <laughs> so, hopefully there's no big hills along the way. But we'll just have to see how that goes, I guess. 
as you might have been able to tell by some of the stuff driving past, I've got all of my Jazzy Cat mods turned on. I just updated them the other day as well, so there's even more ones. The dude just doesn't stop. I think he's a dude. He may be a girl. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's just there's always new trailer mods coming from that guy, which is pretty cool. I need to get down to the left here pretty soon, if this guy ever bothers to get past me. Alright, I've got no idea how this thing is going to handle kind of city roads or anything like that. The engine brake doesn't sound particularly good, let's be honest. I didn't actually hit anything there, that was just running onto the grass a little bit. So one thing I really like about this uh, about this Russian mod is how how detailed the map is. Like you'll find, you know, trucks parked on the side of the road and even instead of having speed cameras, sometimes he has just uh, like cop cars on the side of the road who have obviously got their radars out and that sort of thing. It's just nice little touches. Uh, yeah, we're losing speed just going up this little hill here. And the city's all kind of... They're not really like clean and sterile like you get in um, in the vanilla game. I think that was my phone just there. Um, like they look, they look kind of a bit run down and everything which I don't know how true that is to real life in Russia, but it gives it kind of a bit of character, a bit of personality, you know. Didn't it just shift down that far? So I mean, have a look at the buildings and stuff around here. It's just, it's definitely different to what you're used to, I guess, in a uh, Euro truck, so that's cool. Uh, let's take a look at our truck while we're at lights. This looks so ridiculous. I mean, you would never drive one of these things without an escort. At least, not as far as I'm aware. I have seen these things on the road before and they did always have police escorts. I mean, the trailer was big enough that... I mean, basically they had to have the truck driving down the middle of the road. And, um... Like, they were basically just forcing people onto the shoulder just so the truck would get past. It was... The thing was absolutely massive. And that had a full police escort as well. Because, I mean, you can't drive things this big, like, otherwise. Except that's exactly what I'm doing, so I guess you can. So one thing you find with this uh, Russian map as well, is there'll be like, things in, like, on the road, like, where it kind of looks like it's been a pothole that's filled in or something like that. And um, they can actually like shake the steering wheel around and that sort of thing, which is pretty cool. Alright, going left here. God, look how much traffic there is. Let's try and inch my way forward a bit. Am I stuck on something? Ah, oh, that's a problem. Didn't even know that would happen. I bet this guy doesn't stop for me. Oh, we're going. I love driving things this big and heavy. It's crazy. Especially with a slow truck, I mean... This would be easy to do with like a thousand horsepower truck or something, but at the same time, what's the fun in that, you know? So onto something a little bit different. I had hoped to put up a uh, Star Citizen video this week. Um, just kind of talking about, well, any patch changes or anything. And look at these trucks parked on the side of the road. This is what I was talking about earlier. It's just a nice little bit of atmosphere and stuff. Might have to go a bit wide so I don't clip him. 
But yeah, I'd hope to have a Star Citizen video coming out with um, the latest patch, but it, the patch just hasn't come out yet. It's been um, pushed back a little bit, which shouldn't really come as a surprise to anybody, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Meeting deadlines is not exactly CIG's uh, strongest suit, I guess, but whatever. It is what it is. So instead we have Eurotruck with a giant cat chipper. I don't know what you'd call it. You, you'll notice that a lot of the uh, a lot of the roads around Russia, or at least in this mod, are kind of really flat, really straight roads, which I guess kind of makes sense given how wide the uh, or not wide, but given the size of the country, both in real life and in the mod. Might have to put my lights on here. True to form, it looks like it's going to start raining. Every Euro Truck video I do, rain. I guess we'll see if the wipers work. No, we missed a gear there. <laughs> So I've, I turned down my rain probability, um, I think the last video I did, and it does not seem to have helped at all. I also turned off the fatigue simulation for this one so I wasn't driving at night. It seems like every time I do a video I end up driving through the night. Which doesn't bother me from a game a gameplay point of view, but from a, uh, train, from a point of view where I'm trying to show off like the map and everything it's kind of irritating sometimes. Let's go into oh shit there's a truck coming. Let's go into this camera mode. Look how wide that thing is. That's awesome. It's actually pulling it better than I thought it would to be honest. I mean, it's still taking a while. Hopefully now that we've made it up to speed, we might actually be able to stay doing a decent speed. I'll actually, I'll change gear once I'm over this, because we're actually going uphill slightly. I don't want to change gear and lose all this momentum. Alright, going for it. That seemed to work. So yeah, we got more cars parked on the side of the road. Some of the rest areas are really cool as well. It's kind of like, instead of just being a rest area attached to a petrol station like we're all used to, there are some that's just kind of off the side of the road and there's just a thousand trucks parked in there, which is nice. You also see going through um, Belarus on the way to Russia, they've got kind of these... Um, it, lo it looks like they've, he's tried to do a customs checkpoint or something, so it's just a couple of tolls one after the other, and there's... Um, you know, again, just a thousand trucks and stuff parked in between them. It actually, it really kills my frame rate going through Belarus. I'm not sure why. It's probably just there's so much stuff around. You got all the trucks, and then you got a city rendering right behind it. So, it's, uh, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of there's a lot of kind of detail that's gone into the map. Oh, downhill, more speed, yes. I'm surprised we've actually gotten this fast, to be honest. Hopefully shifting up there doesn't slow me down too much. Oh, hit something on the road. That or I hit the fence. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I think I hit the fence. Look how much damage the trailer's taken already. Jesus. My bad. I mean, it is really wide. You guys can see in the mirrors how wide this thing is. It's pretty much taking up the entire lane with the trailer. Uh, got a left-hand turn coming up. I'm not sure where this city is. Let's have a look at the map. Uh, it's not really a city at all. I guess it's, it could just be buildings from Moscow or something. Doesn't matter. To the left we go. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Fuck! <laughs> 
I was full on the brakes the whole way there and it just did not stop. My bad. That's something you gotta kinda always remember about these heavy loads is that um, they do not stop as easily as you used to. This, I don't know what that guy in front was doing. They've obviously decided to just ignore the red light completely. I can't blame them. I do that sometimes. What is that? Uh, I think it's stopping raining, finally. Awesome. Just revving this thing out as much as I can, basically. Alright, it's a nice sunny day again. So we'll probably be on this uh, on this big open road for a while now, until we get to Tver, or however you say that. I've got no idea with the Russian names. Much like all the other European names, actually. So there's not much different there. Uh, we're struggling to get up this hill again. Come on, Zill, you can do it. Turn off the lights as well, actually. Why are these guys stopping? Euro Truck AI, you're so crazy. Actually, it looks like the speed limit's dropped. Doing down to 60, I don't know why. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Still, this does seem like a perfect screenshot opportunity, so I will take that and be right back. There we go. Have to, have to stop everything just to take a screenshot. Let's see if we can get our cool camera again. The camera the mode that I always crash in. I have to slow down a bit here, I think. I seriously can't tell what I'm doing. I've got no idea. Oh, I think I've gone way too slow. Still, it's all worth it for this camera angle. Look how cool it is. I'm actually kind of enjoying this truck as well. I had no idea how I'd actually go with this truck. Um, I've never driven it before. But yeah, it's, it's a bit of fun. It's the little truck that could, given how small its engine is. I mean, it's pulling this thing really well, actually, to be honest. Nice bit of scenery here. Not even sticking to my line. Alright. We're making pretty good time. We've only got 80 kilometers to go. I have to remember not to turn right off that little road because I want to drive through the city. I love some of these random cargoes you see just driving around once you've got all the mods turned on. So apparently the next update, 1.13, is going to bring in the Steam, achieve the Steam achievements as well. So that's kind of interesting. I've had a look at the, uh, they've got the achievement list up online. None of it looks like it'll be that difficult to get. I mean, I don't, I'm not too concerned about getting achievements. I don't go hunting for achievements or anything in games. I'm just going to check the map, I think. Yes, I'm going to go straight ahead here and take this right instead. Yeah, I mean, some of them are pretty good. So that'll be, it'll add another element to the game, I suppose. Especially for all the people who do go hunting achievements. 
There's also there's a new DAF truck truck coming in, the Euro 6. Uh, I'm not sure if that's in 1.13, but it's definitely coming at some point. And it's not going to be DLC, or at least not paid DLC. From what I understand, it's going to be free. So that's cool. Apparently they're also working on a Mercedes Actros, and it's going to be a Mercedes, not a Majestic. So that'll be cool. That'll mean they have licenses for all of the uh, stock truck manufacturers. Like all the seven ones that they had in the start of the game, which is nice. Alright, so we'll take a right here, I think. Although, let's have a look at the map again. What's the best way? Yeah, I think right here is best. And then I could kind of go around a little bit more in the town, but I think I'll just go just up this road and down here. That should be good. Hopefully I can make it through this easily enough. I'm not even going to use the turning lane. I'm just going to go kind of like this, because I think the trail is a bit too wide. There we go. Maybe a little bit illegal, but you got to do what you got to do. So let me just have a look at the all the uh, stuff. It's really cool. I just I really like how he's done the cities and stuff, especially with the trucks parked on the side of the road. The the only problem is that my frame rate <laughs> always goes down. It's just loading a bit too much stuff in all at the same time. I mean the same happens with Pro Mod to be honest. It's just the cities are bigger than in the stock game. Uh, stop, 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 stop. Alright, I think we made it. I mean, some of the textures on the buildings and stuff, when you actually get up close to them, it's um, maybe not the highest resolution possible. But to be honest, I don't really care about that. I mean, it looks, it looks good from a distance. See if we can make it around here without running up onto the curb. Awesome. That's a speed camera there. He does have speed cameras like in the middle of the cities and stuff. Not sure what that is off to the right, I think it's a church or something. Hmm. But even with just the slightest uphill start, it takes a little bit to get going. I'm not actually sure what the drop off point is that I'm going to. I think it's probably a quarry. Um, but I'm not even 100% sure that he's modelled quarries in this, so I really don't know. That's an old... is that a truck or a train? Couldn't quite tell. You see the indicator flashing through the door? I only just noticed that. Alright, so let's see what this road's like. Hopefully not too hilly. I just remember that, um... I still remember that hill that I drove up with the 75 ton train. That was like a nightmare. Really tight, twisty. Almost couldn't make it up it at one point. Might have to slow down a bit for this. I think the road surface has changed now as well. And I really didn't need to shift down to 7 there. You notice the, uh, the mirror glitches out sometimes as well. This isn't the only truck I've seen that happen with. It's uh, I've seen it on a number of the modified trucks actually. It's like you put the camera... Yeah, in the slide, you put the camera right there and it just freezes up. Don't really know what causes that to happen, but... 
It can be kind of irritating depending on how you have your seating position in the truck. Look at this thing up ahead. Oh, shit. Again, the weight of this thing just nearly caught me up. Alright, so our drop off is up to the right up here. But we do have a bit of an uphill point. I'm not sure if you can see the truck bouncing around a little bit as well. It's like every time there's these little things on the road that I hit and um, like they just kind of drive over, you can see one just here. Looks like where it might be a pothole that was filled in or something. And um, the steering wheel shakes a little bit every time. It's, it's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, am I going to make it up here? I think I'll have to go down to fourth. Oh god. Come on. Oh, it's making it in second. God. The little zill that could. Come on, you can do it. We're so close. This wouldn't have actually been a problem if I'd taken the way the GPS said to go. But it's gonna make it. It's struggling so much though. There we go. Alright, it's done it. I don't think this is a quarry actually, looking at it. Apparently it's John Deere. Do they have John Deere's in Russia? I don't know. That's an American thing, I think. Ah, oh, we made it though. Now I've got to park this bloody thing, if I can fit it through the gate. There goes. This might be a bit difficult to park. Because I don't know if I'll actually be able to see the uh, white lines. Ooh, can I skip my head out the window? Sort of it. I think my, yeah, my track IR is playing up a bit there. The, uh, the track flip pro actually broke again the other day. Yeah, I can't actually get my head out the window. <laughs> if you're gonna buy a track IR, don't buy the track flip pro. It's a really cheap piece of shit. It's just really cheap plastic and it just breaks so easily. I mean, track IR itself is good. Track it pro, not so much. Wow, that's really cool though. Man, that was awesome. I really, I really enjoyed that. Let's uh, deliver this. So the Caterpillar 257M big. Oh, only tolerable. That's because I smacked the uh, trailer into the side of a fence or something. So obviously there'll be links to all of that in the video description if you want to drive this if you want to drive this yourself. Uh, it's a lot of fun. But yeah, so that's pretty cool. So this is the Russia map. You, this was only a really small piece of the Russia map from here up to here. Like I said, like I said, there's all this stuff uh, that I've still got to discover. So it's a uh, it's a really nice map expansion, and I, I really love that it works with ProMod. I don't know what else it works with, uh, you'll just have to research that a little bit yourself I guess, but um, it's really cool. And the Zill, the Zill MMZ5423, it handled that pretty well, I mean, for what it is, it's uh, it's not a massive powerful truck, I mean, it still did the job, so yeah, that's pretty cool. The little Zill that could, I love it. Well, alright guys, so I'll leave this here. Uh, I'm not sure what the next video will be. Hopefully that Star Citizen update will come out this week. I have no idea if it will or not, but one can always hope. Uh, but yeah, so until the next time, I've been Voska. I hope you've enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.